big dose of inspiration for your Tuesday morning. After surviving childhood cancer and overcoming the unthinkable, Haley would go on to become the youngest American to ever orbit the Earth. And this incredible individual joins us live now to share more of her story. Haley, you were 29 when you went on that mission. Thank you so much for coming to the show. We're so honored. Uh, first, though, I want to hear more about the beginning, though, because life didn't always look this way for you. Tell me to whatever extent you're comfortable uh, what you went through as a child. I was diagnosed with a type of bone cancer called osteosarcoma when I was just 10 years old. And I went from being this active, healthy kid. I had just gotten my black belt in Taekwondo to um, having pain in my leg that initially we thought was from the Taekwondo. And then we found out it was bone cancer. And so all of a sudden overnight I was sick and it was just so terrifying. But I went from my home in Louisiana to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis for treatment. And that year that I spent at St. Jude just changed my life and it made me who I am. And um, and it wasn't easy. I had chemotherapy for a year and, and I learned so much through the process. Um, but I was just surrounded by so much hope by St. Jude that I wanted to do the same thing that the care providers did and so I made it my dream to work at St. Jude and now I'm working at St. Jude as a physician assistant. I have mm. truly the greatest job ever. Oh, praise God for it. We are so grateful, Haley, for your story and the way that you're now working uh, to help other people who, who were once like you. Um, you. We're also, though, hearing something, you know, about you being an astronaut of sorts. I mean, youngest yes. person to ever orbit the Earth. How did this come in contact, you know, with you being a physician now on top of that? You know, it was pretty shocking for me, too. So I had been working at St. Jude, and um, and all of a sudden one day I get this email from the chief of staff. He said he wants to speak to me about a unique opportunity. And um, and so I joined this call, and they start telling me about this new fundraiser for St. Jude, which was actually a mission to space called Inspiration4. And it was the first all-civilian mission to orbit the Earth. So it would be made up of astronauts who weren't professional NASA astronauts. Um, but they asked me if I wanted to go go to space and represent St. Jude. And so, you know, I, I said, let me check with my mom, but my answer <laughs> right, is yes. Exactly. And, uh, and then I joined this mission. I trained for six months and, um, and then in September of 2021, blasted off, spent three days in orbit and our mission ended up raising about $250 million for oh St. Jude. Oh my goodness. Haley, this is so incredible. And we're seeing photos here on the screen. I love too that you had to call your mother because that would exactly be me. It's funny though. I mean, people always ask like, would you, uh, you know, those would you rathers, like, would you rather go to space or go to the sea? I'm like, I don't know because I'm so terrified. Was this, I mean, you said you trained for quite a while, but were you scared at all? I mean, this is an experience not many people get to have. You know, I felt so good about it. And I think it's because I was just so passionate about the why behind. Yeah. I knew that there was going to be so much good coming out of our mission for children with cancer everywhere. And then also this mission of hope um, on our mission, we were all given different pillars to represent. And I actually represented the pillar of hope. Wow. And uh, and I wanted to share this message with everyone that hopefully people could see my story and be inspired by it that you will go through tough times in life. For me, it was childhood cancer, but everyone has something. And I wanted to show that life can get so much better. And and for me, it was going to space, but there's just been so many incredible things that have happened through my experience with childhood cancer, so much good that's come out of a bad time. And so I wanted to share that same message with other, with other people. Oh, Haley, you're inspiring in so many ways. You're also sharing that message through a book I hear, right? Tell us about Wild Ride. This Yes. Incredible. So last year I came out with my memoir for adults. It's called Wild Ride. And um, and then I'm really excited because just a few weeks ago, I came out with the Young Readers adaptation. And so this is for kids and it is, it's my life story. I share what I've learned through the different obstacles I've gone through and um, and how that hope has really gotten me through. But also it's it's even though I talk about some heavy themes, it's not a scary book. It's it's a really fun, lighthearted book. And I'm so excited for kids to have it in their hands and, and also get to see the fun of training for space and what it's really like to be an astronaut. Oh, Haley, I, I want
want to be friends, can I just say? Like, I, I interview a lot of people Let's on this friends. show. But then every now and then, like, I'll wrap up an interview and I'm like, wait, she's so cool. Also, too, just, I mean, I'm so in mm -hmm. awe. I was reading, you know, over you this morning and just, you know, survivor, astronaut, physician, author. You're just so incredible. So thank you for coming on and keep doing what you're doing. Um, you're inspiring in, in so many ways. Um, just even in this conversation, you know, I can tell that you're a joy. So, so grateful to get a chat with you. Uh, again, we want to stress, um, we're going to have a link to Haley's book, Wild Ride, on our website, tvliving.com, so you can learn more about her and the story that we'll have posted there. You see Haley's socials there as well. Haley, my friend, uh, thank you again so much. And I say my friend because I feel like we are friends now. So thank you and wish you yes. success. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. Thank you. Thanks.